The next piece on the program is Mitología de las Aguas, or Mythology of the Waters, an important 21st century work in addition to the flute and guitar repertoire, and Brower's first work for this combination. It was dedicated to the German-Venezuelan guitarist and composer, Seth Albrechts, and premiered in 2009 in Germany at the International Festival Con Guitar. Written in 2009, it is part of Brower's third and current period of eclectic influences, including Latin American literature, cartography, la uh, landscape, and imagined history. As Brower states, uh, this composition is a sort of sound film about the powerful elemental force of the waters of the Americas. We have the Amazon River. This music reflects on the waters. Each movement is an imaginary walk through the specific areas of Latin America. Today we'll perform the first two movements. The first movement, Nacimiento del Amazonas, or Birth of the Amazon, is influenced by the book Los Pasos Perdidos, or Lost Steps, by Alejo Carpentier. The second movement, El Lago Escondido de los Mayas, or Hidden Lake of the Mayans, is an imaginary walk through Central America and the Lake of the Mayans with its many cascades and huge waterfalls. There are a couple significant musical areas to mention of this work. Much of it is an homage to the compositional techniques of Tori Takamitsu with unusual sportatora or retuning of the strings in the guitar and modal sonorities. The motivic material actually uses musical symbolism for the dedicatee, Seth, S-E-F, with the German musical nomenclature, as you can see here in the musical example, um, but here it happens to be in retrograde with the S-E-F motive. Um, and likewise, in Takamitsu's Toward the Sea from 1981, which is written one year earlier than this work, the thematic seeds of the work are sown from a pot of three tones are from the word C, S, E, A. S in German is E flat. And Takamitsu's fascination with the subject of water and all of its manifestations has been a continuing theme in his works, dating back to the beginning of his career. And you can see in, in this example, not only the S, E, F motive, but also Brower's characteristic intervals of his own sound world, such as the, the minor seconds, perfect fourths, and diminished fifths. All the movements include aleatoric and indeterminate passages as a primary element. Each movement's musical setting includes sections of controlled indeterminacy for either the guitar or the flute part alone, or flute and guitar together. Most of the indeterminacy in this work falls into uh, some major categories either passages that are to be re repeated ad lib, passages in which special effects can be selected by the performer, passages that should accelerate or slow down ad lib, and sections written senza misura, or without meter. For Brower, improvisation represents the meeting point of planning and opportunity, comprising a blend of strategy formulation and implementation. The harmonies in, uh, in this work are clearly atonal without a sense of key constantly moving and fleeting with chromatic voice leading and melodic tone clusters. I think one of the most interesting elements of this work is actually the contrasting sound textures. And actually, um, the flutists in the room will notice that some of the textures require extended techniques, um, not just a wide range of dynamics, but harmonics, flutter tonguing, irregular variations of the sound, which was a new technique to me, pizzicato, tongue rams, and various percussive effects. Again, much of these colors can be found in Takamitsu's work and in the Japanese concept of ma, the space between things that is full of energy, uh, which is also present in the work of their contemporaries. So um, Christian Perez and I are going to be performing this work, Mitologia de las Aguas, the first and second movement. 